2016, a vision revolutionized mixed martial arts in the Middle East. It all started with the evolution of MMA in a small island in the Middle East. The magnificent kingdom of Bahrain, a land of ancient glory and bravery, thriving under great leaders and visionaries. The country is now home to the largest MMA promotion in the region, Brave Combat Federation. And the kingdom became the first ever country outside of the United States that featured the IMF World Championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his true warrior spirit envisioned the growth of MMA in the region. He believed in the glory of the sport of mixed martial arts and facilitated the best MMA facility in the land. Along with brave President the Hawk, Muhammad Shaheed, in the shortest span of time we grew stronger. We grew bigger. This is a story of the fastest growing MMA promotion in the world. This is the story of Brave Combat Federation. What may seem as an innovative move on the MMA front, Brave Combat Federation confirmed their agenda to host the performance of their skilled artists in eight countries that would take place in Morocco, Colombia, India, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan and the UAE. November, that has been sealed as the month for Bahrain is to witness MMA artists perform in their homeland. The respective announcements were made during the Brave Global Expansion 2018 conference held at Sofitel Hotel, that saw dignitaries like the president of Brave Combat Federation, Mohammed Shahid Director of Marketing at the Ministry of Tourism, Yusuf Mohammed Alkin, Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation President, Khalid Al Qayyad, and the Director of Green Hill Sports Limited, Abid Jahangir Grace the audience. The largest mixed martial arts MMA, promotion in Bahrain, Brave Combat Federation, which was established by Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy President, West Asian Athletics Association President and Brave Combat Federation founder, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa on September 23, 2016, it features mixed martial artists from 28 nations in five continents. Aired through various media partners, Brave stands as the leader for promoting mixed martial arts and artists, who have gone on to brandish the flag of their country higher. What makes Brave a must-be-paid attention lies in their fact to spread awareness about mixed martial art and develop the hidden potential in passionate artists. Marking the first time in the history of Brave, one would witness countries like Morocco, Colombia, Pakistan and Saudi Arabia to host the event where the global artists would compete with each other in Saudi Arabia and South Africa, in the month of December. Speaking about the press conference, host of the event, Mohammed Jainati said, This press conference is held with the main aim to take some off the time from its aggressive dominance. In the past 22 months and to showcase capabilities, achievements and future goals of Brave Combat Federation in the year 2018 where Brave has helped in bringing news age media into the country by becoming the largest sports media property in the GCC. Adding further, he said, held under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Brave Combat Federation is the fastest growing promotion in the world. And, today the vision and property are not just about MMA, it's a flagship event for Bahrain that has established itself at an international level in terms of media exposure and strengthening of global relationships. Having partnered with Green Hill Sports, which is a sports merchandising giant, it is headed by its director, Abid Jahangir, who will be supporting the Bahraini Mixed Martial Arts Organization, and their upcoming events. Started as a family business in the year 1964 with the intention of becoming a premier supplier of elite sporting equipment, Green Hill gained recognition for serving as the sponsor and official boxing outfitter for the 2004 Olympic Games held in Athens. Marking the largest initiative from the Global Mixed Martial Arts Organization, the 2018 MF World Championship will mark the second time featuring participants from 103 countries where the event is hosted in Bahrain, thus ranking the island as the only soil apart from the, the United States to host the World Championships for amateur mixed martial artists. It's a historic night, ladies and 
gentlemen, the kingdom of Bahrain is taking over the MMA world. Uh, thank you very much and uh, thank you for coming first of all it's very important that we get the media support uh, in behind and uh, thank you f f to behind now for supporting us and being here uh, good question about the social media because one of the most important thing what we've seen is that uh, the, everybody knows in the media world that the trend is moving from television to OTT platforms and digital and uh, that's where we want to go if we could have uh, 100 people watch our event uh, uh, one of our events today we can have millions of people watch our events so if you look at our social media growth today in Bahrain we were the only, so we were the only, uh, let's say, so, uh, Twitter Bahraini event that was in UK and was trending in Twitter in UK for a day was uh, Brave Combat Federation. So it's, it's, it's I think uh, we don't want to make just history in Bahrain. We want to make history in social media around the world to showcase that in the media world we are far ahead and we are bringing new age media into Bahrain to make people think that. It's not so. Social media is great. It's a platform, but it's nothing without talents. It's nothing without content, uh, and content is great, but it's nothing without context. So, uh, for us to create a, a platform, to create as much content, be becoming the largest content providers for sports in Bahrain today, and to have the greatest context for it by creating superstars, that we need Bahrain to be created at a global level, and that's what we're doing. So I think uh, it cannot be done without a platform that, that can combine in one sea where the international global world and Bahrain comes together, and we utilize that opportunity to, through Brave to mix them all together. Well, I take care of generally UK right now, and generally about the international, uh, equipment and merchandise for Brave. So we have the collaboration of all the events. We have uh, we are into Brave merchandise with Green Hill, like all the merchandise, and we are the main sponsor of Brave right now. So that's the thing. Like we are all over the place right now. We are wherever Brave is going, Green Hill going with them. Well, Green Hill is there internationally from past 100 years. We have a head office in Germany. We have uh, offices in UK, Moscow, Russia, America. We are all over the place. So we choose by the country, by the culture, what what really matters for us. Like, if the culture is like the culture of the like, for example, we chose red because the flag of the Bahrain is red. So we chose the clothing line according to that, and we have the clothing line blue as well because they did the first event in UK as well. So it's planning like wherever it's going, we're choosing our merchandise according to that. Well, it feels fantastic because end of the day, Green Hill is a big brand and it's an honor to be working with Brave. So we want to see big things coming as we have good plans. So let's say in future, like we will again have a future partnership with Brave. We want to stay with Brave till the end, you know. We want to go big with them as well.